Horrible boating accident takes the life of a Cherokee County woman and leaves her husband with severe injuries. The couple was in the Bahamas celebrating their 15th wedding anniversary when the engine on the boat they were on exploded. That blast killed Malika Jackson. Her husband, Tehran, was so badly injured the doctors had to amputate his foot. Fox 5's Patty Pan joins us live from Cherokee County with the story. And Patty, we understand Malika was an active member of the PTA. Yeah, by all accounts, Malika loved her community and was constantly giving back. Both she and her husband are pretty well known here, and that's why her death and his severe injuries have hit this community hard. And in just a few hours, a vigil will be held in her honor to remember her as the shining star that she was. They love life. Um, and they lived it to the fullest. Despite the shock and sadness, Malika and Tyran Jackson's friends say they want the world to know about this amazing couple. What a wonderful couple. It's the type of couple that you aspire to be. Um, they were well loved in the community, um, very um, passionate about whatever they put their mind to. They were a fun loving couple. Their family provided us these photos of the couple from Malika's Facebook page. Malika and Ty, as his friends call him, were celebrating their 15th wedding anniversary when the unthinkable happened. The couple was on a small tourist boat off the coast of Exuma in the Bahamas when it exploded and burst into flames Saturday. Malika was the only one killed. Nine other American tourists were injured, including her husband, who suffered severe burns and had to have his left foot amputated. This is video taken from a nearby boat immediately after after the explosion. You can see the thick black smoke coming from the disabled boat, all while panicked tourists tried to help, jumping into the shallow water to try and help rescue those in the burning boat. I'm just shocked. Um, it's still hard to process um, that this happened to someone that you know and that you're friends with and that you love. I was devastated. You know, I mean, it's, it's hard to even put in words the feelings and the emotions that went over me. Um, Sunday when I got that news. Malika's father, Malvin Grimes, spoke in his hometown of Chattanooga about his daughter, her love of God, her family, and giving back to the community. Malika would be, I guess what I call a shooting star. She had a life that um, kind of stayed straight on the course, and it was a life that brought a lot of joy and a lot of support and love into the lives of others. Now, friends are holding a vigil here at the Lake Stone Community Tennis Courts around 8 o'clock tonight. We also want to mention that there is a GoFundMe page. The goal is to raise $100,000. At last check, they are already at $45,000. Coming up at 6, we have a statement from the school district about this devastating loss. Reporting live in Cherokee County tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. And our thoughts certainly go out to that community tonight. Patty, thanks.